up, boys and girls, and welcome to episode five of the brand new show where I look at players that could potentially make the move to Arsenal this summer. Now, the first four episodes have been focusing on the defence because clearly that is where we need a lot of work. But another position that we need to go and sign a player is on the wing. It's very clear and very evident that we need an out-and-out -out winger. We have the likes of Alex Awobi and Mkhitaryan there, but I feel we need something different. And it's very clear that Unai Emery feels the same. And this is an area that we will strengthen this summer. Now, so many names are being mentioned. One in particular stands out, and that, of course, is Nicolas Pepe at Lille. But I'm not going to go for this guy. Simple reason being is I feel we've missed the boat on this one. I feel we should have signed him around about a year ago. Um, and his market value now has just gone through the roof. And some of the biggest clubs in world football are on his radar. So like I said, I feel that we've missed the boat with that one. His stats this season in the French League are absolutely frightening. Unreal. But if you actually watch football outside of England and you do a bit of research, you'll find that there's someone out there with stats just as good very interesting now i know that people are going to sit there and question the league that he plays in it's always the same farmers league etc 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 i don't buy none of that all right because if Kylian mbappe for example was available would you not buy him just because he plays in the french league think about it all right the player in question and I've got to try and pronounce his name right. The surname anyway, the first one. Um, I've got no problem with. His name is Robert Skov. Um, I hope I pronounced his surname right. It's actually spelled S-K-O-V. Um, and he currently plays in the Danish league for Copenhagen. Um, and again, like I said, I know people are going to sit there and talk about the Danish league and everything else. Remember where Christian Eriksen come from. Might be a Spurs player. If you had a chance of signing Christian Eriksen, you'd take him, wouldn't you? So look outside that at the moment and look what the player does. He's only been at Copenhagen for a year, just over January 2018. What he has done in that time is nothing short of unbelievable. The goals, the assists. And the interesting part about him is his price tag. Market value is around about four and a half million pound. You probably have to pay around about 10 million to get him. Is that really a lot of money in this day and age? Is that a gamble for somebody who's got these kind of statistics that compare with the likes of Nicolas Pepe? Um, you look at the two players. Skov is 22 years old. Pepe is 23. Um, they're the exact same height. Uh, Scoff can play with both feet, uh, whereas Pepe is predominantly, you know, a left-footed player. Um, but Scoff, there's an interesting stat about this guy, and it's his free kicks as well. Of the goals he scored this season, eight of them have been from direct free kicks. His style of play is very much playing out on the right and cutting in to use his left foot. A bit like Iron Robin, you know the way that he does it? He's very similar in that respect. You know what he's going to do, but you can't stop it. Brilliant, brilliant player. Um, and like I said, you look at it, um, he's got a contract until 2022. But if a club like Arsenal come in to the Danish league, to Copenhagen, and pay the right money, surely he's going to want to leave. Surely. Um, let's compare the stats with the likes of Nicolas Pepe, because that's the name that everyone's raving about and talking about and he's unbelievable remember that but this is why i'm going to compare the two so you get a kind of idea uh nicolas pepe career total games 147 uh robert scoff career total games 167 now in the french league uh pepe has played 98 games scored 33 goals and has 16 assists in the danish league Skov has 99 games, so that's only one game more. He has 36 goals, which is three more than Pepe. And he has 20 assists, which is four more than Pepe. Um, career totals 
goals. Pepe has 42 with 20 assists and Skov has 50 goals and 26 assists. Now, those are brilliant stats. Simple as that. He's quick, strong, good on the ball, technically good, dead ball brilliant. So when you weigh up the two comparisons, there's not a lot between them, really. I know one plays in the French league, which is clearly a lot better than the Danish league with all due respect. But is it really a gamble to go for someone like this? We've got to also remember this is Arsenal. We're not going to go out and spend 60, 70, 80, 90 million pound on a player. We've got to look at players like this. Look at when Guendouzi came in during the summer. Who the hell's this guy from the French lower leagues? Blah, blah, blah. How much is he worth now? Has your opinion changed of him now? When Lucas Torreira signed in the summer, how many people were saying, who the hell's this guy signing from Sampdoria? The Italian league's rubbish. There's only one decent team there. That's Juventus. Are they saying the same now? How much is he worth now? Even established players like Socrates, people were saying that he was finished, washed up. So why not take a punt? Why not take a chance and see exactly what he does? Now, I'm going to compare his stats with a current Arsenal player, and that is Alex Awobi. Um, they're actually the same age. They're the exact same height. Um, and they're very similar in the way that they play. Um, I feel that Awobi has more technical side to him with the tricks and the flicks and stuff. Whereas maybe Skov's a little bit more direct. And what's telling between their stats is the amount of goals scored by Skov in comparison to Awobi. Awobi can create things. It's the finishing, the goals. That's the side of his game that lets him down. And he knows that he has to, you know, rectify that. If you look at Alex Awobi in all competitions, 194 games. But that does include Youth League games, Premier League 2, etc, etc. Um, so if you go just by Premier League games, he's played 92 games, Alex Awobi, in comparison to Scoff, like I said, 99 games. Now, Alex Awobi has 11 goals and 17 assists in the Premier League, whereas Scoff has 36 to 20. Um, so it's very clear they can both create chances, but the difference is, is that Scoff can score goals, where Alex Awobi doesn't really do that side of his game. Although that's an area that he needs to improve. Um, I'm not saying this player is someone that's going to be brought in to try and replace Awobi. It'd be nice to have one on the left, one on the right. Then you've got the likes of Mkhitaryan as well. And it could just work. It really could. So this is an alternative. And I think it could be a good alternative. And it should be a player that Arsenal maybe well should be looking at. And um, it'd be interesting to see whether they do over the course of the summer. So... That is it for episode five, where I have a look at one of the wingers that I would like to see brought in to Arsenal. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you actually agree with that? Have you heard of this guy? Do you think that he could come to the Premier League and cause some problems? Looking at his stats, it certainly looks like he could come and cause some problems because you don't just do that. You're not an average rubbish player if you can produce those kind of stats. And in comparison to players that are being talked about massively right now in the likes of Nicolas Pepe. There's not a lot between them. Just the fact that Pepe plays in a better league. Um, so yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments section whether you agree or disagree. So um, that is it. If you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video. And like I said, um, let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, should we go for this kind of player or should we be going out and get in a name that everybody's talking about. Um, so there we go. That is it until episode six, where I will still be concentrating on the midfield area. Um, so yeah, until that video uh, tomorrow, I'll see you a lot soon. I'm out of it.